it's Nikki here and welcome to a Makeup Monday video. So today's video is an update on my three of a kind project. Yeah, I'm still doing it. <laughs> um, I think that now that um, I'm going to cut back on the project pans that I'm doing, or I'm going to try and think of a way in which I can still do my project pans but still do other videos as well. I'm actually going to bring this back monthly because it started off monthly and I was really enjoying it. I was really enthusiastic about this project. It is not a project pan. I'm not trying to use these items up, but I am trying to use them at least once. This is a project where I pick three of my largest um, categories in my makeup inventory, which is eyeshadows, nail polish and lip products. And I pick three items from each and then I have the month to use them. I did try change that uh, to bi-monthly because I couldn't fit in all my videos. Um, so I changed this one to bi-monthly. But what I noticed was because I knew I had two months to use these, I was like, I won't use them. I won't use them. I won't use them. And they kept getting pushed to the wayside. So even though I had a lot more than two months, uh, this time round, um, I still haven't used everything. And that's ridiculous. So I'm going to bring it back to once a month, you will get an update. And uh, yeah, um, so, uh, so let's go into the products that um, I have or have not used. So let's start with the uh, lipsticks. Um, so I have three here. The first one is a uh, sleek matte me uh, lip cream in bittersweet. It is what I am wearing today. Um, I I like these and I love this color. Um, I don't mind the formula being a little bit dry because I always put a lip balm on um, before I start doing my makeup and then by the time I come round to put in my lip products on, my lips are nice and moisturised anyway so it doesn't really um, like look awful on me or feel too dry on me. I will say that these are not something I will turn to if I'm struggling with excessively dry lips, like in the summer or something, but in the winter, these are fine. Um, I really do like them, so this one is staying in my collection. The next one is a little bit of a shock to me because it is a pink lipstick, and this is a bright pink lipstick. This is like Barbie pink, and it's the L'Oreal Colorish lipstick in number 285 which is Pink Fever and this was from the Beauty and the Beast collection um, a few years back. Um, everybody was shouting and screaming because it's a sticker rather than actual printing onto the casing which I think a lot of people would have preferred. Um, but I bought this because I really wanted this collection, this Beauty and the Beast collection. Um, but I couldn't get a hold of it and then I saw this and I was just so excited that I'd finally found a piece that I bought it without thinking of the actual colour <laughs> and I keep saying to myself I'm not a pink girl, I'm not a pink type of girl but turns out according to my makeup and nail polish collection I kind of am. Um, so. When I first applied this, I must admit, when I picked this out originally, I was like, this is one I'm going to end up decluttering. I just know it. Um, but when I put this on, I did think to myself, no, too bright, not my colour at all. But I left it and as it wore on my lips, um, within half an hour or so, it had settled down and the colour was actually just a real beautiful like blush pink on my lips and I actually kind of really liked it. <laughs> um, so surprise, uh, I, I like this, I like this and I will probably, this is a colour that I would say would suit me better in the summer when um, you know the sunshine is out. Um, this isn't really a wintry kind of colour um, 
so yeah the the sleek one was for winter this one's for summer we're sorted um so yeah i think i will be picking this out a bit more in the summer months just to you know look a bit more summery and pretty and girly i suppose so yeah big surprise on that one and no surprise on this one um okay I'm a massive fan of mermaid. Do you know this? You know me. Um, and I am a sucker for mermaid uh, inspired products. But I have come to the realisation now that unless the actual product is usable, I'm not going to buy it anymore. Mermaid packaging or not. Um, this is the I Heart Revolution Mystical Mermaid Lipstick in Aquadisiac. It looks gorgeous. It has um, like scales on the bullet. And although it's this funky green colour, it's actually kind of um, a shimmery, pinky kind of colour. It swatches and looks stunning, but on my lips, this looks like I've been licking up glitter. It's just, it's just not a pretty look on my lips. And I tried to use it as a topper over another colour, but it just took off whatever lipstick I had underneath. So this is not usable for me. I can't use it. I can't use it on its own. I can't use it as a topper. And to be honest, I don't want to be messing around with lipstick toppers. I mean, who do I think I am? Um, so it's mermaidy, but I'm going to declutter it. And I'm, I'm shocked because like it's mermaid, um, but it's not usable. So it's just going to sit in my collection, not being used. So yeah right um bear with me okay so the next three items are my nail polishes and i can tell you i've only worn one of these so the one i've worn is this china glaze and this is in hot and heavy and it is what i have on my nails today not this one, this one is a different one. Um, it's a good metal grey and it's nothing to shout home about. I'm kind of like, I'm looking at my nails and I know they're a little bit short at the moment. I had a broken nail situation and to try and not make it so blatantly obvious I had a broken nail situation. I had to file all my nails down, which I hate doing. Um, so they're quite short at the moment, but um, this is the one that broke. <laughs> um, but it's, yeah, it's it's nothing to shout home about. It's a dark grey, almost black nail polish and it hasn't wowed me. I thought that there was going to be this sort of silver shimmer inside there. No, not really. Um, it's kind of a boring nail polish and I... Um, yeah, I'm sad to say that. I am going to keep it in my collection, however, because um, unless I can find someone to pass this on to, um, I don't want to just declutter it and throw it. I mean, this is going in the bin because nobody wants this. Um, but unless I can find someone to pass this on to, it will probably just stay in my collection. Um, but yeah, not impressed, not impressed. I mean... The, the application is fine and the wear has been fine. I've had it on for two days. Um, so the wear has been fine. The consistency of it is fine. I'm just not impressed with the colour. It's just the colour that I have a problem with. Um, I like China glazes, polishes generally, but this colour is just, it's just nothing to shout home about. Now the other two nail polishes I, I haven't worn. Um, I am going to put these back into my collection though. Normally the rule is that I have uh, one more month, I have to put them back in um, and keep them in for another month. 
Um, but I'm going to actually put these both back into my collection and just draw three fresh new polishes because this one is a neon red nail polish. It's just, it's too bright for this time of year. I, I'm not about this. I don't want to wear this colour in the middle of winter. I just don't. It's not, it's not a colour that I want to wear. Um, right now so I will try and pull it out maybe in the summertime um, but for winter not appropriate and uh, by the way this one is a uh, revolution nail polish in sizzle so uh, that's that one and this one is Essie in girly grunge and it's kind of like a shimmery lilac color um, and or lavender purple light purple um i'm also going to put this one back because again i just feel like i think i wouldn't say that i'm a seasonal nail polish wearer but i do feel more like wearing darker nail polishes in the winter months than these bright colorful ones so um yeah I, I haven't been drawn to it in the last three, four months, however long it's been since I drew it. Um, and I'm still not, like, in, <laughs> I'm still not drawn to it. Um, maybe for the summer months. I think it's probably better for the summer months. So I'm going to put it back in my collection. Um, all three nail polishes are going to go back in my collection. Um, but those last two I haven't worn. Okay, let's move on to the eyeshadow palettes. So let's talk about what I have on my eyes today. This is the eye look. I know my lighting isn't great, guys. I'm still trying to work things out. Um, so this is the Sleek Stonework palette. And it looks like this. This is the packaging. And inside... inside looks like this now in this palette we have two creams we have a pink cream and a blue cream and then this one this one this one and this one are all powders so for some people that's a big no-no mixing your cream eyeshadows and your powder eyeshadows in the same palette with no protection like that's just a big no-no for a lot of people and I agree I kind of get a bit about this palette being the layout that it is I wish the two creams had kind of been on one end with something to cover that when you're working on the powders but it is what it is I think you know what I really enjoyed the look that I created today. I did have to pull in another palette because there are absolutely no crease shades in this palette at all. Um, the powders are all uh, shimmery colours and obviously I can't use a cream in my crease. Um, so I did have to pull in uh, the Chocolate Peaches palette from uh, I Heart Revolution uh, just for the crease colour and to darken up the crease. Um, but I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. My All my makeup is right next to me. I don't have to get up and go to a, a set of drawers behind me or anything like that. All my makeup is now around me, within arm's reach of me sat at my table. So I don't mind pulling in another palette if I need to. Um, I do really, really like this palette. I love the colours that I create with this palette. But I'm just so weirded out by this cream and then powder um, thing. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a project pan next year. I don't know which one. I'm thinking Partners in Cream because I'm going to be focusing on using up the two cream products. Um, mostly... In next year's uh, project pans um, because then if I can get those two out I don't mind working on the rest of the eyeshadows as well so yeah you you're probably gonna see this in a project pan next year probably partners in cream uh, so I can work on using these two creams up and um, and clearing them out so yeah because I'm a little bit 
weirded out by them uh, but I do love this palette and I love the looks that it creates um, so yeah it's a very versatile palette in my opinion um, and, I, and I do love it and it's really nice um, I love sleek eyeshadow palettes um, so yeah uh, I'm going to keep this one but project pan it next year the next one that I used was my I Heart Revolution Blueberry Crush Donut Palette. It's one of those squidgy ones. Um, and this has blues and purples in it. And I used this in an eye look in a recent video. Um, and I absolutely loved it. It turned out, I felt like a bit, bit of a peacock. Um, I felt like a bit of a peacock with this blue and purple eyeshadow look and then um, I paired it actually with the L'Oreal uh, pink um, lipstick so I felt very girly, very um, much like a peacock um, but I did really like using this palette. Um, I picked this up because I had been looking at a couple of blue palettes and I thought, Do you know what, I don't need a lot of blue. Um, I just want a touch of blue. I just want a little bit of blue um, to satisfy my needs for when I want a blue eye look. And this little thing came along and I thought, Do you know what, that's perfect. It's small, compact. There's a couple of blues in here paired with a couple of purples. That is perfect. So I picked it out. Now I will say, on their own, they're, they're not that great, but if you put down a good cream base for these to stick to, they can pack a punch. So they do need a really good base underneath them, otherwise they're a bit wishy-washy and they're not that good. Um, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the look that I created and I will probably do it again sometime. So this one is staying in my collection. So the next palette, or egg as such, is this one from, again, I Heart Revolution. I think this was their unicorn one. It is their purple based one. Uh, we have two highlighters here, which I don't class as highlighters. I just count them as eyeshadows. Um, because if I'm going to be pulling for a highlighter, I'm not going to be coming to this egg for these two. I'm just not. Um, so I class them as eyeshadows and then we've got these beautiful uh, deeper purples here. Um, I didn't use this at all. I didn't use this. Um, it's got one of my favourite coloured purples but, um, that I enjoy. So it looks like that. Let me build it up for you so you can see. So this purple is one of my favourite purples to use in eyeshadow looks, but I just didn't pull for it. Um, that could be because I haven't worn a lot of makeup in the last couple of months. Um, I've been a little busy, um, but yeah, I didn't get around to it. So I'm going to keep it in the project. So. I'm taking out the nail polishes, even though I didn't use them, and I should keep them in the project. But I am going to keep this in the project. So this is staying in for one more month. I do think I can get some use out of this this month. So now it is time to pick three new products from each category. So I have my little uh, pot here that I have all of my lipstick products in. Not this month, but from next month, I will be writing down all the names of these nail polishes onto pieces of paper uh, separately, and then I will be putting those into a mug because it's much better, um, A, for my makeup collection because it takes a while to get all of these out of their storage and into this tub, but also so I'm not clackering around and possibly breaking anything um so yeah from next month we'll be doing it that way but for now we're doing it the old-fashioned way so let's just reach in reach about making a lot of noise and start pulling so one oh dear lordy lordy uh two and three Ooh, ah ha ha 
I know what I've pulled. <coughs> okay, so I pulled two of my most expensive uh, lipsticks and one that I am going to say I'm probably going to declutter. Um, so this is Lips Ink in Sleepy Unicorn and it is a lip gloss I think. Yeah, iridescent sheer lip gloss. If this is shimmery like the other thing, you know what? I'm just going to declutter it right now. I'm just going to declutter it. Um, it's the same shimmery stuff as, as this one. Um, I'm going to declutter it straight away. So let me pick. Let me pick again. This is better. This looks more like a wintry colour to me. So this is a mini sleek matte me um, lip cream in the shade Old Hollywood. So uh, yeah, very deep. Let's have a look. So it is a deep red colour like that. I hope you can see. So it's a deep, beautiful red. I'm going to love that for Christmas. I'm not normally a red lipstick kind of person, but this is deep enough that I can do it. It's the bright reds that I'm not a massive fan of. So that's the first one. The next one is an Urban Decay one. And this one is ZZ Cream. And I specifically bought this in summer because I was looking for a bright summery shade. It is this one. Um, so there it is there. So it is a bright, bright, um, like purpley, mauvey kind of colour. Um, like a pinky mauve. <laughs> I don't know. I specifically bought this to wear in summer. I'm, I'm going to keep it into the project because, um, or into this month's choice, because I want to see if I can play with this and make it work in the winter as well. I can maybe use a lip liner underneath to darken it up and I can wear it in the sum in the winter, then yeah, that'll be better for me, um, I think. So yeah, so we have uh, Urban Decay ZZ um, and it's a cream formula. So that's that one. And then the last one is my Mac in, are you having a laugh? Okay, it's in Ruby Woo. What was I just saying about reds? Yeah, it's a bright red. So this is a retro matte formula and it is a really, really dry, dry formula i'd say this was the driest almost like a chalky texture is a bright red now okay fair enough christmas time is the time to wear a red lipstick and pull it off but i don't wear red lipsticks very often <laughs> i've just got to wear it once that's all i have to do is wear it once and i will be okay and happy um but yeah um i'm not having much luck <laughs> so those are all three of my lipsticks so i have the sleek matte me in old hollywood i have urban decay's zz and i have mac ruby woo so let's use my whirly gig what colour should I paint my nails? And I have my whirly gig there. Let's make sure that the sound is on because we love the sound of this. Turn it up. And spin that wheel. Okay, so we have a purple. Second spin. Spin. 
a green very good for Christmas? And we've got purple again, so I'm going to spin again because I like three different colours. That's a good spin. Purple again. Will you? I swear down. Grey or silver. Okay. Um, so we're going for a purple, a green, and a grey or silver. This should be fun. I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> Okay, so I have picked out my nail polishes. So for my green, I'm going for this beautiful Christmassy green. Um, so it's a very shimmery green. I'm sorry, people. Very shimmery. It's got uh, like little gold glimmers in there. Um, it's a good shake. <laughs> um, so it's got like gold shimmers in there and green glitters. It's absolutely stunning and this is by china glaze and it is in glittering garland so i thought that quite appropriate for christmas uh definitely a christmasy green that i will definitely be wearing so that is that one for the purple i went for this l'oreal uh nail polish um, again, needs another good shake. All of my nail polishes need a really good shake. Um, so it is in these beautiful bottles. I call these grenade bottles because they always remind me of a hand grenade. Um, and it's a beautiful like Cadbury's purple. And this is in the shade 334 Violet de Nuit. Um, or Violet de, Ni de Nuit. I'm, I'm awful at French. I butcher that language that poor poor language um so yeah it's kind of like a cadbury's purple um so i thought that was quite nice and i thought i would love to wear this over the christmas period because let's face it that's when i'll be wearing most of this stuff and my silver i thought i would treat myself and wear one of my most expensive nail polishes and that is from a england and this is for my silver nail polish and this is a silver holographic. I don't know if my camera is picking that up. Oh. But um, yeah, this has got a bit of like holographic silver into it. And this is in the shade The Heart Desires. So yes, this is a beautiful nail polish. And if I could, I would purchase more from A England but um they're they're rather expensive so um <laughs> unless i can find them cheap uh i'm not buying any so yeah that is that one so those are the three nail polishes that i will be wearing over the christmas period i have my green my purple and my silver kind of kind of christmasy um but yeah so that is that now for the eyeshadow palettes. What will I be wearing over the month of December? So the first palette I treated myself to um, uh, a few months back now, and that is the Urban Decay uh, Naked Ultra Violet Palette. I have used it once, I believe, to create an eye look, um, but I, I, I not used it more than once. Um, it does come with, let me get it out, it does come with its own brush, which I greatly appreciate from Urban Decay. And the palette looks like this. So you have got some neutral shades over here, but then we go into the purples and it's just a beautiful palette. Um, I won't say that these are vibrant, like they're not like kapow on your eyes they're more of like um if you want to wear a bit of color but you're a bit scared of it um this is a beautiful palette because you get that color but it's kind of muted almost yeah i really really want to have a play with this palette so cannot wait for that the next palette that i'm going to play with is an i heart revolution one uh this is the mint chocolate palette um and this also comes with a brush <laughs> um, and it looks like this 
So we have some uh, beautiful greens in here, like this, and then we have some nice golds, but we also have some like deep reds and some chocolatey browns and things. And I just thought this looks like a real nice Christmassy palette. Um, so yeah. And the third and final palette I'll be playing with is this one. It's, I have it in its case. Um, because I don't want to knock off all these beautiful jewels on the front of it. And this is the Revolution Pro Ultimate Eye Look Palette in So Jaded. And it looks, when she can open it, uh, like this. This one also has some greens in it. Um, but it has this beautiful pink as well. So, yeah. I just, I'm feeling in a green mood. I don't know why. Those are the three palettes that I'm going to be using. The Revolution Pro So Jaded palette. The I Heart Revolution Mint Chocolate palette. And the Urban Decay Naked Ultra Violet palette. So that is it. That is my three of a kind project pan. I'm so sorry about the lighting, guys. I'm thinking of asking Santa to bring me a proper light ring. What's it called? Ring light. I've got it the wrong way round. Can you tell I'm not a professional at this? Um, plus I'm also stickied up with eyeshadow so I need to go get myself a wipe before I end up with this all over my face. So I am going to go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you will join us next time for another video. I do Makeup Monday videos and Bookish Friday videos. Um, so please do check back for those. I've lost what I was about to say. What was I going to say? I don't know. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!